As a younger man, I was not someone who would say I enjoyed every genre of music. In fact, I had a few genres that I particularly listened to. Obviously, when I was much, much younger, it was mainly popular music, it was chart music, etc. But then as I got to know specific bands and follow them more and specific artists and get to dig in a bit more and then find artists that were associated with them or in a similar vein, I gradually expanded out. And one genre that I'd never been able to get into and in fact was almost convinced that I never would have any interest in whatsoever was the standard traditional jazz genre. And in fact, to this day, I'm not interested in that genre. All the chances I've given to the really big names, the legendary figures from that one, in general, it's never really worked. There's been the odd piece that was all right, but a lot of the big names I have no interest in, and it just doesn't do it for me. In fact, it actively is a turnoff in many respects. Now, the reason why I'm making this video is that through my interest in hip hop and in electronica, now what I guess people would in theory call the EDM now, but I'm thinking more of like the old school, the warp artists, the Orteca, Boys of Canada, Aphex Twin, Square Pusher, that sort of area that was leading up that kind of electronica, IDM, intelligent dance music. Thanks to my interest in those particular areas, eventually through like-minded people who enjoyed that music and through finding people on some of the rosters of that, of, on some of the labels rather, the rosters on some of these labels, I eventually found my way to some of the artists who would be better termed in the subgenre of new jazz, which is different from jazz. It tends to use computers. It tends to be more of a, a different style. It's not as traditionally set. It's not as much based around just freestyle improv, etc. It comes out of, a, yes, jazz sensibilities and aesthetics, but through electronica, some hip hop aspects, some editing, sampling components that weren't as present. And I have to say, this is a genre that I really vibed with, and particularly some artists within this genre are some of my favorites of all time, an obvious one being the Cinematic Orchestra, arguably my favorite group and any particular kind of artist musically. So one of the ways I got into this was coming from the Electronica IDM world. I, I discovered Armand Tobin, and particularly his first few CDs were very much within the vein of what new jazz is and has become. I found the Cinematic Orchestra then, and that, that first album, Motion, is it's fucking unbelievable. And then every day is perhaps even better, the, probably their best piece of work. And they've done, that's one of those few group, groups and artists where I've really bought the ticket and I've enjoyed pretty much everything they've done. And then also another early person was Quantic because he was out quite early in the late nineties. And he had some stuff that was, was certainly very interesting and it really had that hip hop sensibility. Therefore I could get into it. And I remember at the time, just in terms of background listening while I would work, I would often listen to some of the Jazz and Over mix CDs. Not as big a fan of those, but they certainly were pleasant listening and got me kind Kind of built up the vocabulary of what new jazz was like. Now, what I like about new jazz is, yes, it has the jazz instruments, it has the the woodwinds, and it has the the saxophone, and it has the the big double bass, and has all, all all the traditional instruments you'd think of from jazz. And it has some of the repetitive elements of jazz, but it's a lot more melodic. Typically, it doesn't try as hard it doesn't it isn't quite as niche in some senses and, and as harsh as a lot of jazz can be in that respect um i think it actually i would describe a lot of uh, what they add into the melody as well in terms of the singers i actually think it's a lot has a lot more soul in it in, in both senses i think in soul in terms of i feel a lot more emotional a lot more human hu humanity a lot more warmth in it than in typical jazz which i find a little bit cold in some respects even though on an intellectual level i can see that there's people expressing themselves in a very creative and unique manner I also think it has a lot more soul in terms of, cause it has, what, like, a part of my favorite elements of hip hop are the soul aspects where you sample old soul records and you bring in the feeling and the emotion of a, a lot of the female singers, for example, but then you put it into hip hop with the beats, etc. It's like that, you take the instrumentality and then you put the soul, weave it through it in a way that isn't as present for me in traditional jazz. And then crucially, genres that I am interested in, like hip hop, like electronica, some of these elements and their sensibilities for how they edit and how they put together tracks and the way that the melodies work in that particular type of music really have influenced and infused themselves into new jazz. And so it's more of a hybrid genre to me. It's not just a breakaway from jazz and it's not just one of these others. It's a bunch of them coming together and making something fantastic that's very much like a, a, a section in a Venn diagram, but it's very, it is very distinctive. You can know it when you hear it and it's fantastic. It's 
one of my favorite subgenres or genres, depending on how you want to define it. So first and foremost, as I said, the one that's really stuck out to me is the cinematic orchestra. I think not only do they have fantastic musicians and they seem to be very selective about who they pick to work with, but secondly, they don't release just fluff. The majority of their like album work and EPs has been very high quality. I also love that even though it's a band where the pieces require many musicians and they've even worked with orchestras, like beyond the name, it's not literally an orchestra in the normal sense. What I love though, is that they have the quality where because it's set that one central guy, he's a, they, he has been able to have this auteur, director-esque vision for how the music should be and get other people on the same page as him, but he guides the whole thing. And I think as a result, that's why it's got a very coherent style and sensibility about it. It's also got a lot of soul, a lot of poignancy to how they work in the samples and the lyrics and the way them, the melodies are always very slow to build up and slow to build work themselves out. But that just emphasizes the euphoric almost feeling that you have as they work themselves out through the music and the emotional resonance really can build up to a, a, a slow but high wave as it were. I've also enjoyed a lot of the material that Quantic was involved with, mainly that that particular alias, not so much Quantic Soul Orchestra and the others, but Quantic, I found almost everything enjoyable. He's changed very much over the years. He started off a lot more hip hop, a lot more sample heavy, a lot more simplistic. Then he added in, he became a lot better in terms of the quality of what he was able to do with the sounds and his artistry in terms of as an editor became a lot more high level. And he really went a lot more niche on some of the sounds he wanted and did a lot of different other genres in terms of what kind of beats behind us opposed to the more traditional new jazz or hip hop type beat. He went way more into like South American rhythms and Latin flavors and all these different elements and, and trying to do very unique things with the music. And his music got very, very diverse in terms of the, 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 the almost the spectrum of the sound in the, from like the third and the fourth albums onwards. It has a lot of great rhythms in there as well. Really funky stuff. Really, in fact, that's one of the number one things I'd say about Quantic. It's really funky. That's one of the key elements that he has. Whereas it's not like orchestra, it's more soulful, more melodic. Amon Tobin is someone where I realize now he has gone off completely so that if you like it, yeah, it's something people are going to love. But to me, he's gone off completely into electronic wankery. Like I'm not into his lighter stuff. It just goes way too far into a niche area direction. I'm just not, not particularly interested. It doesn't work for my ear. But those first three big albums he did, not including the Cujo album, etc. The ones where it was bricolage, it was permutation, super modified. These three are fantastic. They're a great blend of like little elements of hip hop with a lot of new jazz, some electronica components, even even on some of them coming from his Kuju days, some drum and bass components, and they're up-tempo, but some of them are slower, and they're very soulful, and they're really kind of sexy. They're really, they're re there's a lot of kind of charisma in a lot of the tracks, and they're able to communicate a lot, and they're just fantastic on the ear as well, in terms of melody. Uh, beyond that, from out here, out, out from where, when, I can't fucking remember the name of that album, but that, that was a good one still, but it was starting to veer already towards the later ones, where the later ones, there's the odd track, or there's a few tracks in a row I like, but the further out you go, the less interested I get, quite frankly, and I'm on top, and he went really outside of this genre, quite frankly, so for the purpose of this genre, we can stick to talking about him in that sense. In terms of some of the other people that are less well-known and people might not have heard of, I would actually recommend a group called Cobol, a Mexican group, and particularly the Centipede album they did, was really a lot of fun. It was very different to all the stuff I've mentioned before. It, the bass lines in it were really cool. It was more almost like fusion jazz to some extent. Like it had some aspects of it that I, I think of more with where you have those brilliant 70s English musicians like the Alan Holdsworths, et cetera, where it's more like um, expression just of your musical ability and, and, and kind of like a riff, riffing, solo style. I think it has some of those flavors in it, but still very, very rhythmic, very funky. And not, and they didn't do a massive body work, but they had some pretty good solid stuff there. And then if you just like some of the names I've mentioned before, like Cinemaca Oxford, and you want like a, a, a poor man's version, I'd say to check out Scalpel. I think they are Polish, but they could be Hungarian. I think they're Polish. And they did one album particularly that was pretty fun. And they even did one that had a bunch of remixes and edits and stuff that was pretty good. That had some cool stuff there. And finally, I would say the Norwegian... It's actually a trumpeteer with Niels Petter Mol Molver, I think is how you say it, Molver. And he's someone where he was mainly just a trumpeteer, so he's not like a full band, but he worked with a lot of different people. And obviously there's a lot of, there's a lot of like soul in his trumpet. He plays, it's pretty deep. 
and he did a lot of different styles that incorporated electronica styles and had a few hip hop elements to it and certainly moved more in the new jazz circles. So I think they're just, it's just a subgenre not many people are going to have checked out. I think a lot of people will have been put off by traditional jazz like I was and won't be interested. Therefore, they'll think this is just off limits. It's not interesting. But I know a lot of people are interested in electronica or IDM or, or EDM or are interested in hip hop who like stuff like Nujabez, et cetera. But they don't know about this stuff over here. And some of this is fantastic stuff. It's really incredibly good stuff that is uh, there's a lot of new material still comes out by these musicians they're very much not retired there's a great breadth of cat back catalog for many of them and while there are other genres that touch it like fusion jazz and hip-hop those are things that should have their own videos really so i would just say don't confuse new jazz with jazz and if if you are interested in any of these things to check out a few of them and test them out i mean i'll put a few tracks in the description box below from some of those artists to give you some of the flavor of this genre